Okay, ready? Okay, now I know that looks very similar to my burger dance, but it's really my meat dance because we're back in February and I'm kicking it off with some beer braised short ribs. I am dying to do meat. Come on in close. All right, so really quick, let's go to the heart of it all. Short ribs are wicked expensive. Over the past few years, I used to be pay, pay, pay like nine or $10 for these four short ribs in this package. Now it costs 15. Same with this one. This one's a $13 package. One, two, three, four. You're looking at $6.79 a pound for short ribs. So if you're gonna do it, do it right. So let me do it first and I'll tell you whether it's the way to go. And cause I've never done this recipe before. Beer braised short ribs should be amazing. Let's run over the ingredients. Onions, carrots, little thyme, little rosemary, shallots. Gonna render some bacon uh, fat to get the fat out. We're gonna use obviously short ribs. We've got beef stock, beer, salt, pepper, all purpose flour, that's it. Put a bunch of flour in the bowl. You can measure it out if you want according to the recipe, but I got tons of flour in the house, so. Next thing we're gonna do, I'm putting salt in here. Very little salt will probably make it onto the meat, but that's okay. Pepper in here. My silicone spatula, get it all blended together. Grab one of your ribs. Place it in here. You're just gonna give it a good coating. All the sides, a little bit of coating, and then set it on a plate. Boom, just like that. Now, one of the latest things I'm trying to remember when I work with like any of my cookware from now on, they say never use a high flame. I've always used a high flame. What it will do is it'll damage your porcelain lining here. It'll damage your other pots. And so I'm never gonna tell you to put on a high flame. Put on a medium high, be patient, Wait for it to get hot, get your bacon out. We're gonna render the bacon and get all the fat out of it. And the cool thing is you don't have to, I mean, you can eat the bacon, put on a sandwich later. Uh, we just want the fat out of it. So you don't have to really worry about how you set it in the pan. Okay, we've rendered all the fat, lower your flame down to medium right now and pull the, pull the bacon out. You're gonna add just a little bit of olive oil to the mix. And now this is where we brown all of our ribs. I'm gonna do two at a time. You don't wanna overcrowd the pan. One there and one there. You can do all sides. How many sides does this rib have? Six. Let's give it a turn. There you go. You can do each side. All right, sorry about the missing audio. Battery died on my microphone, so I'll take you along here. Get your onions in. You're gonna wanna stir those in and just get them soft just for a quick moment. Next thing you're gonna put in is gonna be your shallots and mix those in the same way. Give those a minute and then your carrots. Pop that in there and get it all incorporated. You're gonna cook this for about two minutes. So just kinda let that saute for about two minutes. Then it's time to add the beer in. You're gonna deglaze the bottom of the pan, and yes, there are little bits stuck to the bottom. Just scrape the bottom. It will be beautiful. So now we're gonna add in the beef broth. You're gonna add a little bit of salt, and I'm putting in extra black pepper. I love black pepper. I like the peppery taste on beef, so I'm putting in extra. Now you're going to place your meat. I'm putting it meat side down. Just superstition, I don't know. There's no reason for that. I just wanna make sure it's as submerged as possible. Now I'm gonna put in my sprigs of thyme and put in my sp uh, sprigs of rosemary. All right, put your lid on, nice and snug. You're gonna bake this, or cook this, I should say, for two hours at 350 degrees. Then you're gonna drop your temperature to 325 for 30 to 45 minutes. And then you're going to meet me back here. So get this in the oven, let's get it cooking right now, and then get it back on the stove top. We're gonna make sure it's nice and fork tender. It's gonna be beautiful. Okay, ready to take a look? Here we go. Bada boom. Oh, look at that. Oh, did that. Did that bone just fall off the meat right there? I think it just got a bone. Look how beautiful that looks. 
All right, cover it back up quick. Okay, almost done. 20 more minutes and then we're gonna plate this and we're gonna try it out, okay? Let it sit for 20 minutes so all the steam can turn back into juice and the meat can be all luscious and wonderful. Okay, there it is. Beer braised short ribs to kick off meat again on the Cooking with Jack show. Let's break this apart with a fork and see how it goes. All right, here we go. Here's a piece. Let's see if it breaks just with the fork. Oh, try it again. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It just falls apart. You just pull it apart. That's beautiful. Whoops, I just snuck a taste. And get it all in the juice. Another thing I read on the internet is people will take all the vegetables, once you take the sprigs out, and blend the entire thing and cook it down into a thicker, uh, maybe put a little cornstarch in there to thicken it up like a gravy on top of this. Whatever you want to do. My mouth's watering. Mmm. Very tender. Oh, wow. Mmm. I don't know about you, but I don't care. I got meat stuck in my teeth now because it's so delicious. It just falls apart. First bite, it's just boom. It's really good. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this up. I know what we're having for dinner. It's very delicious. Uh, try the, if you do the gravy thing, let me know how that works out, okay? And I will see you guys on the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.